Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Wind guide you. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir? You can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. And let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Godmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but... Why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend, if that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs.
Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able We're to resist. We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alderaan. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in the scroll. Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I'm ready. Let's do it. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands.
have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Steady now. Keep under cover until it's down. Jova Keen, here I am. Turn her and I'll kill you. Taste my blade. Taste my blade. Need. I think it's holding. Ovuta mid Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. Zokfrini grin kogra drun viki. Dova keen. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your, hmm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Zubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right. Where's he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship. Whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course. Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. You were telling me where to find Alduin. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. Devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. The Ulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Do you promise to serve me? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know, then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Fine. I'll set you free, if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me. 
and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Farangar, very bad idea, even for you. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales, or a small amount of blood. Jume, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Enough, fool! I can't believe that worked! Was nu? Sie need dein Rufe, Astval! Are you insane? You're going to trust that... that overgrown lizard and fly it? You heard him, Bishop. There's no other way to get to Skuldorf. God, you are insane! Should've known all that head trauma would get to you sooner or later. Well, I will not stick out my neck for you this time. Bishop, wait. I... No, I can't. I can't... I can't do this. This isn't me. For my whole life, I've never cared about anyone but myself. And now... I care about you. Saran Uth. I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Okay, let's end this. Take me to Skuldafen. Zukbrit of. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. I can't be sure when it happened. When a hunter's jealousy of someone more lucky to get his prey transformed into this. When the desire of betting you changed into the joy of just being near you. Mubokotin Stinselok. I started feeling contentious holding you in my hands. Every time you stand in front of another blasted dragon, I freeze inside, thinking that this one may become the last, despite our combined skills. Every time you sleep wounded, I dread to close my eyes, fearing to see you dead when I open them. God damn it. I have my eyes trained on a better target than some flea-bitten tavern wench. Hmm, not a perfect woman, is she? More's the pity.